Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So let's get started for Sagittarius. Spirit, just Sagittarius need to know regarding this person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Let's start first with how they view you, Sagittarius. How they view you or this connection. Spirit, how is this person viewing Sagittarius or this connection? How are they viewing Sagittarius or this connection? The High Priestess. Well, there's something mysterious about you, about this connection, something that they're keeping hidden. Hmm. Getting like a weird message about this. What? Okay, we have Strength, Leo Energy. Can I get one more, please, for this High Priestess energy? Why is the high priestess here, spirit? Why is the high priestess here? Two of wands. And then the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Gemini energy there. So, okay. How they view you or this connection. Well, the high priestess is telling me that there is something that um, when it comes to you or this connection, they're not really sure about or they're keeping hidden. And it has to do with a decision. There's a decision regarding you or this connection that this person is in the dark about. I don't know if this is a decision that you have to make regarding this connection or if they're making a decision and you don't know about it. Strength is here, Leo energy. And this is about a different approach, about using your inner strength, not forcing things, kind of you know going with the flow. Maybe they view you as someone very strong, someone that they have to use a different approach with, right? Like they can't be forceful with you. And all of this I feel has to do with a very special connection because the lovers is here. So I feel like your person is recognizing this as an important connection, that there's something here. Tell me about this two of wands. What's this decision about? For Sagittarius spirit. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Wow, the ace of cups. Well, they're to have a new beginning. There's the fool at the bottom of the deck. So this decision is about whether to have a new beginning with you or a new beginning in this connection. And there's very like different ways to interpret this Sagittarius. This could be somebody that wants to have a new beginning with you in love, but is keeping secret about it, maybe because they need courage. This could be that someone's wondering, does Sagittarius care about me? Do they have feelings for me? What am I going to do if they don't, you know, because I don't know. There's something that hasn't been fully expressed here with the high priestess. Let's get some overall energy out here for Sagittarius. What's the overall energy when it comes to this person spirit? that Sagittarius is thinking about or connecting with. What's their overall energy towards Sagittarius? Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds can, and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. And pure seduction, okay. I feel like someone is being influenced by outside parties or an out like a family member, a friend, ex partners, etc. Despite the fact that they really want this, it's almost like someone's being um, I don't know, there's like doubt here, there's an, a, an element of not, you know, someone being persuaded or influenced to doubt themselves to doubt this connection to doubt how they feel. A new beginning um, is at the bottom of the deck. Let's get some more information here. How is this person thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? That's the wrong deck. <laughs> 
How is this person thinking or feeling about Sagittarius at this time? What are their thoughts, feelings when it comes to... Okay, there's the Five of Swords. Some sort of conflict, issue, deception, not playing fair. What are their um, thoughts, feelings when it comes to Sagittarius? They could have been like this towards you. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like there's already a problem here. There's the world again. So when this person thinks about you, Sagittarius, they're thinking about a problem or an issue that may be maybe the way they treated you, the way you treated them. Someone could have made a mistake here. The devil is here, Capricorn energy. And sometimes when I see the devil with the five of swords, I think someone was making the wrong choice for the wrong reasons. That's what I get here. Um, someone ended up going down the wrong path. And it cost them something because now this person is wondering about the future. The Seven of Pentacles is like being unsure, uncertain about the future outcome of something. Um, kind of having doubts about the future. And I feel like this person's having doubts. Yes, there's the Two of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords after that. It's almost like they're thinking, could I have a new beginning with Sagittarius? Now that this has happened or because of, you know, what's going on here maybe outside factors are an issue, et cetera. You know, take it as it resonates for you because you're all dealing with different situations. But I feel like this person is needing courage now for some reason. And I also am getting like doubt, uncertainty. Un, un, you know, they're unsure about how they feel, how you feel, how this is going to work. But, and I feel like, I wonder if it's because they're being influenced by someone else because that's what I'm getting with that strong bonds. Like maybe their parents or something is like, um, they're very influential for them. There's the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I think this person still cares about you. There's still feelings here. There's a Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like this is a special connection, Sagittarius, but I don't think that's the problem. What are their intentions? Let me move this up. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their genuine intentions? What are their genuine intentions towards Sagittarius? Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, there's that conflicted energy. What do I do? What are their genuine intentions? The Seven of Swords. This person, I feel like in their mind, they're going to be seen as the villain or, you know, their fear is driving them to act a certain way. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. It's because of you. You are resistant in a way. I feel like you intimidate this person. Um, you could be guarded, Sagittarius, as well. Um, this person definitely wants to have a new beginning with you, something stable with the Knight of Pentacles. The issue is you. What will you do about it? Will you accept their offer? Because I get the sense that you are something that they admire. They look at uh, this nine of pentacles. You're doing great. But I'm also getting an energy from this card of like, I can do better than you. Or that's not good enough for me. Or perhaps you've blocked yourself against this person. Maybe because they hurt you. Because I feel like this person... Their intentions are to sneak around because they don't have the courage to be honest with you or to face you like in person. Um, I feel like they're sneaking around, drawn to you, but I don't think this person has the courage to really do what they want to do. What else do we need to know about this person's intentions, energies towards Sagittarius? What else do we need to know about this person's intentions, energies towards Sagittarius? Mountain, obstacles, difficulty, challenges. Yes, there's a mountain to climb for this person. There's an issue that they have to resolve or face. You know, it's like they need courage here. What else do we need to know? When it comes to this person's energies towards Sagittarius, 
Wow, we got midnight, divine timing, countdown, soon. I feel like this person thinks that they need to act. And then long ago, the past, history, and memories. So there's definitely history between you. But I feel like that whatever happened long ago is still something that needs to be addressed now. It's, a, it's an obstacle. What do they wish they could tell you? Spirit, what does this person wish they could tell Sagittarius? I wanted to say Aquarius there for a second. What do they wish they can tell Aquarius? See? <laughs> Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but what do they wish they could tell Sagittarius? What does this person wish they could tell Sagittarius spirit? What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius? Six of swords. Oh, I'm hearing I'm coming. Okay. Nine of swords. Yeah, there's this person is afraid to do what they want to do, which is show up. There's a star. There's Aquarius. <laughs> They want to heal whatever the issue is, but they're terrified. This person's terrified to come forward, even though what they want to do is like come over. Yeah, and talk. Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Fool again at the bottom of the deck. So there's like an, an element here of like taking a risk. This person is scared. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. They're hoping that something works out here, but they're coming in out of the cold. So I feel like you and this person, there's a distance between you, an emotional distance. Maybe you block them, but they want to talk, Ace of Swords. They want to be open. Um, it's like they're deciding whether they should be open with you. It's kind of what I'm getting here. What's in their heart space? What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius? What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius Spirit? What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius at this time? I'm going through a hard time. There's so much I have to tell you. Yeah, they've, there's something that, that's why the High Priestess is here. Something has not been disclosed or revealed. Committed to you. And bottom of the deck, I am removing myself from a difficult situation. So I feel like this person, what they want to tell you is that they're committed to you, that they are still in this. They have so much to tell you because they haven't been able to speak to you or they haven't been able to be honest with you about what's been going on. I think this person has always thought about coming back to you, Sagittarius. But whatever happened in the past... It just, it honestly, it messes with them. The Nine of Swords here. It's like they can't get past this fear. It's not that they don't want to talk to you. It's not that they don't want a new beginning. They want those things. They would love to have a new beginning. They would love to heal things and bring you that Knight of Pentacles. But they're so scared. And I honestly feel like this fear is not just a natural fear I feel like also someone could be playing up this fear for them so maybe they talk to a friend a family member and that person's like I wouldn't even bother if I were you or maybe you know they say out loud something like I don't think Sagittarius would ever come back to me and this person is like, I don't think so either. <laughs> you know, it's almost like there's an influence or, or like a little bird in this person's like ear. That doesn't help. It doesn't help. And they're going through a hard time. They're affected by what's going on. So if this person's like, if you don't know that, you should know that. That they are definitely out in the cold. They're not doing great out there. They might be missing you. And I just get this energy of someone who, I don't know, it's like they've held back so long that now their fear is just making things worse. But make no mistake, if it were up to them, they would come right to you. Like if this fear was not an issue, they would come over to talk to you. Like that is very clear. I feel like the issue here is how you would respond they're afraid of that 
And I think it's because of what happened between you. Let me know if that resonates in the comments. But that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I'll see all of you in another video very soon. Take care.